the boat. All right, so again, I'm on the back here. As you can see, I can walk all the way across. You got the cleat right there. Obviously, you want to put that down if you're standing up here. You got your rods out at the 15 and 30 mark. He actually has two additional rods going back here. Um, he's going to do a lot of trolling. Now, I will tell you, he also has the option later to do a drop-in backrest with removable cushion and backrest here. He also has the option to do a uh, cushion here. So if you wanted to sit like this, then you can have a cup holder right here coming off of this backrest, maybe a grab handle. You could do a backrest that comes off of this rod tube that comes across the back. Or like most of the customers are doing, including myself with my family, the front hatch is big enough to put two of the uh, Big Joe bean bags, and you can get it at any of the uh, department stores. But we put two of the bean bags right here, and I stretch out, and my kids love it. My wife loves it. So you got the ability to have three seating across the back, or you can do two bean bags. And when you're fishing, you throw it in the front hatch or you throw it on top of the top if that's what you have. The other option, uh, you could also do a folding jump seat with a cushion here. We also have the ability to do the cushion removable via snap, track, or even magnetic. The magnetic, we would need to know in advance for that. But again, these are some of the things that we do. Going to the compartments, I want to talk something about design of the boat. Maybe I talked about it in some of the other videos. I don't know if I did, so I just want to reiterate that. This boat is sexy sitting still, and what we mean by that is the way that we design all of our, all of our boats is you got the curvature going on in the back, and you got it down the sides and then uh, inside the cockpit. But look at the shape of the hatch. The hatch follows the line. Then you got the key locking latches, the piano hinges, and by the way, everything is drilled and tapped. On the custom bays, everything is just tight. So anyways, look at the gutters. I've been in offshore boats that don't have gutters that deep. Okay, so you got some dry storage. Then on top of that, he chose to do his wash down and his hookup. But when we designed the boat, this is an insert. And you can see how deep that is in there. So you actually have the ability to divide your contents inside. So if you wanted to throw a cast net or if you want to throw shoes, if you want to throw, you know, uh, sandals, whatever it is, on the bottom, can, and then you have stuff on top and by doing that divider and building it to the mold it just allows you more options at East Cape we don't like to lock it down for options uh, I mean we do like to lock it down for options it can't be a single purpose it has to be a multi because we don't know everybody's different from one person to the next and I'm sorry if I'm rambling but you can put C deck on top of that you can build a tray on top of that and speaking of C deck we do it underneath because it quiets it uh, the depth in the back here, we're right at, uh, I believe, 22, 23 inches. If you tell us in advance, we have the ability to actually go higher on the freeboard if need be. But again, the gentleman who's holding this camera is a customer, and he's 6'5", and he can take a shot right now where it's hitting him, and it hits him right below his knee, which that's plenty for him for doing the grouper fishing he's going to do, the mahi fishing and stuff, and obviously inside the bay. But this boat is just beyond solid everything is solid in this boat this is where the magic happens guys so this is the live well when we design this it comes with two lids you can do a clear lid your hardcore bait fisherman or you can do a solid lid um, you could stand off of this you can throw your net uh, this is actually a valve when this thing fills up it is pressure so you have to release the valve to get it out so you can open the lid it is key lockable if you wanted to lock your bait up at night you're keeping it in a slip or you got your pass crabs we know how valuable those are towards the end of the season but anyways this is an adjustable 55 gallon pressurized live well with an led light dark blue so it calms the bait down and the, the reason why we like this is if you're six five if you're older and you don't feel like bending down to get bait you can the other thing is is it gives you something to fight on the fish so if you're offshore, you can lean it. You can put a bolster here, but you can have three guys back here, big boys, because I've already personally done it. More coming up, running out of time. Hang on, another segment right now.